Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. I'll play the full clip for you in a moment. But first, I want to clarify this. If you notice that I've covered part of the video or clip, it means I initially tried sharing it uncovered. However, due to copyright claims, I had to cover it. Nonetheless, I always provide a link to the full video in the comment section or description so you can watch it directly from the creator's channel. Back to business, as you've just heard from Iyanla in the short clip I have played at the beginning, she mentioned that mothers destroy sons. I appreciate that this came from a woman because, if a man had said it, many women might not have accepted or understood the message. Coming from Iyanla, I hope more women will take it to heart. This isn't to say that women are bad. Rather, we've drifted away from the traditions that once guided us on how to raise our sons and daughters. In my previous videos, I've spoken about the importance of fathers in the home, but that doesn't mean mothers aren't essential. We need women who speak life and encouragement to their sons and men. A woman's words carry immense power. They can either build or destroy a man. This is why it's so important to be mindful of how we speak to our sons and men. A woman's words hold a lot of weight, and they matter deeply to men. While men often show their love and commitment through actions, protecting, providing, and working hard for their families, a woman nurtures through her words and care. Her encouragement brings life to the family. When that nurturing is absent, it creates a void, and that's why many children who grow up with a bitter or emotionally absent mother struggle. This isn't about blaming women, there are many great women out there. However, some don't realize the impact their words and actions can have on their children. When we compromise on these roles, we end up in difficult situations, and that's something we need to address for the sake of our future. Let's watch the full clip. So I'm asking you, since this is not a demonstration of a man, you need to tell me what man you're using to measure him with. Which one? My idea. Which is your idea. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the idea you trained him up to be? No. Oh, so how in the blazing bejesus are you holding him accountable to a standard that you didn't teach him, his father didn't give him, he don't even know what it is, and yet as his mother, you sit in his face and tell him you don't respect him as a man. Tell me how that works. Help me. Like I said, it's an, it was events, it wasn't just... I'm not talking, I'm talking about one thing. also how he treats me. Yeah, but he I'm talking... Hello, 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 hello. So. You see, you are a provocative victim. You provoke stuff, and then when you start being held accountable for it, then you start twisting and turning and making the other person wrong. Look at me, Ma. Look at me. Look at me. You just sat here and told your son who ain't got a needle in his arm, who I'm assuming pays his own rent. He's married to a registered nurse. He's got three baby boys. And you just sat here in his face and said, I don't respect him as a man. Mm -hmm. And you don't think to consider what that does to his heart, to his soul, to his spirit. I'm sure that's hurtful. And you okay with that? And it's hurtful for the things that he says uh, But there me. you go, you're doing it. You're doing it right now, you're doing it right now. I'm like, holding you accountable and you spinning. You spinning your web. You trying, trying to get away. You trying to get away. Tell me, just here's the question. Just answer it. We'll get back to that okay, other stuff I, later. I, Tell me. Forgive me, I respect him. He's a wonderful man. Do you understand that your mouth, your voice, your words are connected to the coils in his heart, to the vows in his heart? He can't help but love you. And every time you dishonor that love, you chip a piece of him, chip a piece of him. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say, we tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. 